Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope your day is going really well. I'm going to mess around in Luminar 4 today with sky replacement. And the reason I'm doing this video is because every time I post a photo about sky replacement, I get the same question. And that question is, hey Jim, can you use your own skies or do you have to use the skies that are built into Luminar? Um, I understand why I get that question. Well, there's probably two reasons. Number one, uh, people don't really... Um, watch the entire video usually when I make a video. That's just kind of what happens. I don't watch somebody else's entire video a lot of the times. I might skip around. So even though I mention that and even show it in some videos, um, they probably miss it. Totally cool, it happens. The second thing is, a lot of the videos that I've done replacing skies, uh, I've actually used the built-in skies just because they're there and I'm kind of showing what's included. However, I feel like that may have misled people or just left them misinformed or probably better way to say it is not fully informed. So I'm gonna correct that right now. So hey Jim, can I put in my own skies? You bet, you bet you can. Absolutely, totally, for sure, positively, all that stuff. So let me show you. Um, I've got a photo here. You've seen this one before. You just go to um, sky selection in the AI sky replacement filter. And at the very bottom it says load custom sky image. You give that a click. And I've already got a, a sky here. I took this sky just the other day uh, in Seattle. I was so happy. Oh, man, beautiful. I captured several new skies. Anyway, you just highlight the sky that you want, and you say open. Um, well, on a Mac, maybe it's something different on a Windows. Um, and then there you go. There's your new sky. That is a sky that I took that is not included in Luminar. So it's quick. It's easy. Let me show you another example. Okay, here's a shot from London. Once again, sky selection, load custom sky image, and boom, I'm just gonna grab that same sky. Um, now, here's the thing. Currently, and there's the new sky on the photo, currently, the new sky that you add can only be a JPEG format. Now, I don't know if that's gonna change in the future. It might, but right now, your new sky that you add can only be a JPEG. Also, um, when you go to select it, as you saw that, you come in here and it says load custom sky image, it prompts you to pick a file on your computer. What that means is you cannot go into your library um, and go find one that's in, in, in Luminar already. Let me show you. So instead of saying that cancel, let me show you. I've got that sky. If I go over here, I've got a few files here uh, in Luminar. And here's, these are just a bunch of photos from Seattle. Let me find that sky. It's in, there it is right? So that's the sky. What I did is I exported that from Luminar because when I'm over here in that other photo, let me go back to that. Goodness, uh, I didn't think about all the scrolling that I got to do here. Um, when I'm in this photo in the different folder in Luminar uh, and go to select a sky, here we go, load custom sky image, it doesn't allow me to pop into that other folder in Luminar and grab it. So export the photo. What I do is I've got a clouds and skies folder that I keep on my desktop and I've just got a bunch of skies that I like that I've captured over the years. Um, and that's how that works. Now, the, the replacement sky must be a JPEG. However, the base file can be a raw file. So I'm gonna go back to that Seattle folder and find a raw file and then put a JPEG sky on top of that. One second. Okay, here we go. So this is a raw file. You can see it says right there, uh, .arw. It's a raw file shot with my Sony camera. That is the Sony raw file format. So your base photo can be a raw file. Sky selection, load custom sky image. I'm gonna grab the same sky, which I actually shot right behind this. There's a deck out there behind Pike Place Market. And um, so, hey, I'm not even cheating. In this case, I get the same sky from that night at a different time behind a play. Anyway, I'm just playing. Um, so there you go. Base photo is a raw file. New sky has to be a JPEG. Base photo can also be a JPEG or some other file format, but the top photo, the sky that you put in, has to be a JPEG today. So that's how it works. You just go in there and click load custom sky image. And I highly recommend that you have a folder of skies somewhere on your desktop that you can get to quickly and easily to experiment and pop in here using the Luminar 4 AI sky replacement filter. That was it for this one. I just wanted to answer the question, hey, can I use my own skies? The answer is yes, absolutely. Have fun with it, my friends. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, that sort of stuff. 
And I may do some more short videos like this where I try to answer questions that I've gotten as opposed to a full workflow video. There's just a lot of things to talk about. So if you've got questions, put them down below and they may make it into a future video. And thank you much, my friends. Hope you're having a super awesome day. I'll see you soon. Take care and adios.